I do that. And uh, I think I enjoy enjoy the most, what I enjoy most about what I do is the fact that I can reach out to so many people through multiple platforms. And uh, God has been very, very kind to me in so many ways. I, um, if I had to be thankful, it would be, it would, it would be a different kind of Christmas we'd be celebrating. But um, uh, first of all, you guys are putting together something which is uh, practically impossible to do under the given circumstances. And I feel very honored and uh, really, really privileged to be a part of a talk such. The topic for today that I have been given is in fact quite interesting for me because this is going to be something that we all have to work on. Something that we all are trying to rebuild around ourselves. And it's time to think about the possibilities that can probably um, make our tomorrows better. So when I was thinking about what exactly we're facing today, it's we're heading towards the end of the first quarter of the 21st century. This is exactly that time of our lives, all of us, whatever, whatever age or whatever spectrum we're uh, connected with. This is when the world is taking a big leap into so many different kinds of futures. And when I think about reboot, the first thing that comes in my mind is a computer. You reboot computers, you reboot all those kind of systems. This world is technically, I think, as far as I was, uh, as far as I'm informed, is used for technology and things related to that. And then when you, when you think of a synonym, it's restarting or reviving. When I am thinking of a computer, what does a computer do? Okay, I have a computer, I open my computer and I see a wallpaper, very beautiful. And uh, I turn off the computer, I restart my computer. And once the computer is restarted, I see the same wallpaper. Life has finally given us a chance to change the wallpapers of our lives. A lot of us have been doing what we really love to do. But there's also a lot of us who are just doing something that fell onto their paths. I think this whole exercise of the pandemic, for, for those who it hasn't affected too adversely, it's just that you are going to be able to restart your computers, your brain's computers. You're going to be able to get a chance to restart your lives, to achieve some dreams which you probably uh, just thought of. For them to exist you know you thought that maybe someday there was this hobby that i wanted to achieve and i wanted to do this instead and i just couldn't but i believe that this restart is a pretty big one this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and when you do restart you restart your brain's energies your brain's cells with inspirations motivations things that uh, things that are going to take you into a better, bigger, greater, grander future, but also a very much kinder future. Rebooting is going to be for everybody their own, you know, like they say, to each their own. And it, it sort of reminds me of one of those George Carlin quotes that the weather forecast for tonight is dark. So, you know, when things are exaggerated, the weather forecast for tonight is dark. It's going to be continue. It's going to continue to be dark. And uh, there's going to be widely scattered light in the morning. It's obvious, right? It's dark in the night. It's going to be light in the morning. So it's up to us how we exaggerate the good possibilities in our life at this, uh, at this point. That's what I personally am set out to do and uh, to doing. And of all of these things, when I when when I think of um, when I think of my my profession per se it was one of those professions which actually got a chance to work through the pandemic because I could reach out to so many people through this very same platform of social media and what I've learned at the end of it is that it's at the end of the day happiness that is going to keep you afloat with a smile it's not just about staying afloat it's not just about riding a wave it's not just about being on the biggest ship on the ocean. It's so happy. It could be a smaller ship, it could be a big ship. And why we reboot, why we've gotten so many much change 
ourselves into the person that we really should be. I hope all of us have taken up that time to rediscover what is the better in us or what is the better that we can give to the societies around us. What is the better that we can give to our careers? What is the better that we can give to ourselves as a person? So becoming a better person is, I think, a bigger reboot that uh, this lockdown has given to many of us. And I guess at the end of it, all that I would like to focus on would be the fact that we reboot on inspirations and motivations. To me, my biggest inspiration in the lockdown has been my parents. Being around them for such a long time and not really being alone, secluded in a city uh, which is constantly running. You know, it's like a rat race for a person who lives in Mumbai or, or, or Delhi even. So many of the metros, they... They demand a lot of you out of you. And when I got to see myself through the eyes of my parents, I got inspirations such um, in, in Hindi. There's, there is a word which I somehow cannot find a synonym to in any other language that I have come across, sanskar. And it's the sanskar which, uh, which got rebooted for me. So for me, it was, um, uh, I guess... A wake up call that we're everything that we believe in but we're not putting enough of ourselves out there to be able to achieve that and it's time to reboot the same sanskar to re-love what we probably once loved up in a box and put away somewhere but it's time to you know open that box try to see if that works for us try to give that one more chance one more thing that i think i've learned through the pandemic is that life is too short so if you've got to you better start doing that one thing that you love right now you never know where it's going we don't expect these things to come and we all had plans, right? So if I was in college and I was studying, I was studying to be an architect. I knew that after five years, I'm going to go into a certain firm and I'm going to uh, I'm going to be doing um, interiors or, oh no, I want to be an architect, like a real architect. Or I want to be into construction. on moving as per our wishes. We may wait. Wishes are good. Wishes are great things. But life happens. And you have to move along with it. Sometimes you have to move around it. And sometimes we get the opportunity to be the one who's moving it. So at this point, I guess, right after the pandemic, we all have an, a little extra space to move it. Move our lives. To maneuver this steering wheel. And I guess... Um, when I think about what comes out of this pandemic, it's the fact that the ones who got it in them, they're gonna slog. They're going to. They're gonna. Uh, they're gonna put in more effort in it, and they're gonna just go on with it. The betters, the betters are going to survive, and the best are going to rule. So now it's always going to be up to us as to what we would like to select for ourselves, which version of us we want to put out there. And in a quick sum up, I think all I want to say is rebooting is really in our hands. Be the pandemic, not be the pandemic. Be a crisis, not be a crisis. This is a self-realization. And whenever one gets it, one must just not let go of it. And I guess... That's what I'm going to be focusing on because, yes, yeah, sometimes we lose it, but it's time that we find it. So um, I'm Aishwarya, and I hope that all of us out there find our possibilities and reboot them with every inch of energy that lives within us. And um, I guess because I sing, I guess I, the best I could do is end with a song. This song is very typical to um, hope. So I will I will hang on with it and I'll sing you that and I really wish that all of you people 
if you're sitting at home, if you want to jive with it, do not stop yourselves. Because I believe in YOLO anyway. So, um. with all of you guys and I wish you guys have a fantastic fantastic eventful life thank you Vina uh, that was really motivating we now request principal ma'am to present Ms. Madhuda with a token of gratitude that was awesome beautiful talk you really touched each one of the listeners hearts 